Brenda Cohen from Award Pool, who's here to talk to us about how you can capitalize on your startup stories. So please give her a warm welcome to the stage. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm excited to be here today because I get to talk about my two favorite things, storytelling and my kids. So Award Pool, the company that we have, was actually founded during the pandemic in March of 2020 when the world shut down and uh, we were stuck at home with our three children. And we were thinking to ourselves, well, what are we gonna do? So both of us have uh, started several businesses. So my husband and I decided, you know what, let's start a startup and let's get the kids involved. So we built a business with our children and the business was based on watching how they interact with things online. So not only did we teach them about building a business, but we actually used them as the inspiration for what we were going to build. So the reason I tell you this is the point that everybody has an origin story. Every founder has a story. Now you're sitting there thinking to yourself, yeah, okay, maybe I have a story, but does anybody really care? And the truth is that yes, they do care. And it does make a difference what your story is. So maybe your story, when you think about it, maybe it has something to do with product market fit. Every time I talk to somebody, that's the first thing they start with. And I think that's fantastic. But I really want to know is, why you? So why is your business the one that's making the big difference? Why, did you the, why are you the one that found that product market fit? So maybe you're the story behind it. Maybe it has something to do with where you are. Maybe, you know, you always hear the stories about a startup that founded in a basement or the startup that was founded in the garage. But where are you in your life and where are you in your location? Maybe that's a big part of your origin story. Everybody has a piece of that story and that's a big part of how your company came to be and it does matter. Now, how do you tell that story? So there's lots of different ways you can get that story out there. Me, I'm a writer. I've been a writer my whole life. My career started as a copywriter. I've got a book coming out in August. The written word is where I'm comfortable. I actually hate being on stage. <laughs> so the written word is where I find my comfort level. So when we started our company, I spent a lot of time building out our blog, building out our stories, our biographies that you read on our company are probably the best ones you're gonna read because we dig deep into every member of our team and we write about them. So that's where I'm comfortable. But maybe there's a different medium that you like. You know, there's a whole booth over there where you can tell your whole story in TikTok if you want to. And you can have videos if that's the place that you feel comfortable. Some people like to talk. For example, my co-founder loves to talk. He's the one who should be up here to be honest. And so he started a podcast where he talks to other founders about their businesses, and then he texts to tell a little bit about his story every time that he does. So the point is that there are lots of different ways that you can tell your story. And if you dig deep and talk about yourself and who you are, then you add a level of authenticity to your brand. And authenticity matters to investors, it matters to partners, clients, your community, and that's how you can build an authentic community around who you are. So when you're going out there and telling your startup, don't forget to tell your story about who you are to make a difference. Thank you.